the hospital that was thrust onto the front line of the fight against Ebola when the Liberian Patrick Sawyer flew into Nigeria in July. This is all new stuff. Doctors here say the highly infectious Mr Sawyer wanted to leave and became aggressive, even pulling out an intravenous drip and splashing blood on the staff. But the hospital staff stood firm. The only way we could be sure and live up to our responsibility to our people, the state and nation, this is all about patriotism at the end of it, was to keep him here. Mr Sawyer died in the hospital. Had he been let out into the vast, crowded city, Lagos, the consequences could have been catastrophic. Four of the hospital staff died trying to treat Mr Sawyer, including the heroic doctor who made the initial diagnosis. It was Nigeria's first case of Ebola. Dr. Ameo Adedevo's only child is mourning but full of pride. By identifying the index patient, um, you know, it really helped um, Nigeria to prepare and get ready to, you know, to trace everybody. And I think that's, you know, probably the difference between us and um, our West African neighbours, Guinea, Liberia and Sierra Leone. Nigeria had to act fast. Health workers and volunteers went knocking on the doors of almost 900 people who may have come into contact with the virus. Their temperatures had to be taken for three weeks. It was difficult work, and at times they had to convince scared medical staff to comply. You're a health worker, I'm a health worker. We understand this thing, let's just do our job. So she said, all right, so how many days would you come and check up on me? I said, 21 days. So, and when we were done, she said, you need to take me to a party. Now that I'm free from Ebola, we need to go and celebrate this. <laughs> Nigeria was unprepared, but with international support, got its act together and the number of Ebola deaths was limited to eight. The ward behind me is where the confirmed patients were treated. It's completely empty now. This whole area is pretty much silent. The medical staff and this whole facility are on standby, but everybody's hoping and praying that Ebola doesn't come back to Nigeria. According to this expert who's helped fight several Ebola outbreaks, Nigerians must not be complacent. The sheer size of this country makes it likely that they're going to get more cases. And the second thing is an, a much more average hospital environment will be slower to diagnose this disease and they will have worse infection control facilities at their disposal. Nigeria has a window of opportunity now to get better prepared right across this vast country. Another Ebola battle might be much harder to win.